Yang berbahagia dan suri doktor, senior doktor The presence of participants from government, industry, academia and the research community reflects our shared recognition of the importance of thorium and rare earth development a field that will shape our sustainable growth and technological future with the theme securing the future science strategy and sustainability in REE and thorium this seminar carries an important message that our nation's progress must be built upon responsible exploration scientific excellence and strategic foresight across the world Demand for REE is accelerating. According to recent market analysis, the global REE market estimated as at 3.9 to 13 billion US dollar in 2024 is projected to more than double by 2030, reaching between 6 and 28 billion US dollar in value. This growth is driven by electric vehicles wind turbine technologies and advanced electronics underscore, underscoring how essential these materials have become for the global clean energy transition. Today, China controls nearly 70% of processing capacity, creating vulnerabilities in the global supply chain. For Malaysia, this presents both a challenge and an opportunity to move beyond being a resource holder and become a trusted and sustainable regional partner in the critical materials ecosystem. This gathering is therefore not just a scientific meeting, it is a strategic dialogue to chart Malaysia's pathway in balancing economic potential, environmental stewardship and national interests. Ladies and gentlemen, Malaysia is not starting from scratch. Our nation possesses significant REE and thorium resources, particularly within IAC, iron absorption clay deposits, known for their low radial activity and environmentally manageable profile. Preliminary studies under the previous Malaysia plans have indicated an inferred REE resource of approximately 16 million tonnes, 16 million metric tonnes, with an estimated in situ value exceeding 800 billion ringgit. Deposits have been identified in several states including Para, Kedah, Tringanu and Sarawak, each with distinct ge geological ca characteristics that could support both light and heavy REE development. Our true advantage, however, lies not only beneath the ground but in our scientific capacity and strong institutional governance through agencies such as Nuclear Malaysia, JMG, Department of Minerals and Geoscience and Atom Malaysia, we have built the technical know-how and regulatory foundation required to ensure that development of REE and thorium proceeds safely, ethically and sustainably. Malaysia is among the few developing countries that already possess a comprehensive nuclear safety and radiation regulation under the, the Atomic Energy Licensing Act, Act 304, fully aligned with the international standards set by the IAEA, International Atomic Energy Agency, to coordinate policy and implementation. The government has established a special task force on rare earth elements, bringing together the Ministry of Natural Resources and Environmental Sustainability, the Ministry of Science, Technology and Innovation, MOSTI, the Ministry of Investment, Trade and Industry, MITI, and Ministry of Finance, MOF, and other state governments. This whole of government approach ensures that every stage from exploration to processing and downstream applications is developed with transparency, responsibility and shared benefit for the people and the nation. Ladies and gentlemen, within this national framework, MOSTI serves as the science and technology engine that drives this emerging sector forward. 
under the National Advanced Materials Technology Roadmap, MOSTI is working closely with academia, research institutions and industry players to accelerate technology localization, promote value-added processing and strengthen research through industry linkages. Aligned with the 13th Malaysia Plan, RMK13, and the new Industrial Master Plan, the roadmap acts as a strategic enabler to connect local innovation with global value chains in advanced material and clean technology. Through targeted instruments such as Strategic Research Fund, the National Advanced Material Council, and the Moonshot RDE program, MOSTI supports high impact research in green extraction technologies, rare earth magnet recycling, and advanced separation processes. These efforts ensure Malaysia's critical minerals industry advances on a foundation of innovation, safety, and sustainability. In parallel, MOSTI is mainstreaming emerging technologies such as artificial intelligence, blockchain traceability, and digital monitoring systems to en enhance transparency, optimize operations, and uphold the highest environmental, social, and governance uh, st standards. Through these efforts, MOSTI is building the scientific backbone of the nation's critical minerals ecosystem, one that not only meets today's industry's need, but positions Malaysia for the future of energy, mobility, and advanced manufacturing. Ladies and gentlemen, the global race for critical minerals is not merely about economic gain. It is about strategic resilience and technological sovereignty. For Malaysia, the journey ahead demands not only investment in minerals, but also investment in knowledge, innovation, and people. Let this seminar mark the beginning of a new era of collaboration between government, academia, and industry. One where science informs strategy and sustainability guides every decision, decision we make. I urge all stakeholders to approach the development of thorium and RE with a deep sense of responsibility and foresight. Let us ensure that Malaysia's progress in this field brings not only economic growth, but also environmental care and societal well-being in line with the ideas of Malaysian Madani.